In this video, we're gonna show you guys how to use your cycle analyst. So when you get a bike from HPC, we're gonna ship it to you street legal, considered a non-motorized vehicle at 750 watts and 20 miles per hour top speed. So let's turn on the cycle analyst and you'll see that here's your main screen. So this is pretty much the, the main screen that you're gonna be looking at. Top right corner is gonna be your mile per hour, how fast you're going. The bottom right is gonna to toggle between the distance you've traveled and the amp hours used of your battery system. For example, if you have a 20 amp hour battery system, it's basically gonna count up in the corner from zero as long as you reset uh, your cycle analyst when it's fully charged. I'll show you really, really quick how to reset it. When you fully charge your battery, and your charger turns off automatically, you're gonna press and hold the right button to reset it. Now it's 0.0. .0. So now this is gonna be a really accurate gauge to count up. In general, you wanna use about 80% of the capacity of your battery system. So if you have a 20 amp hour battery system, you wanna use up to maybe 16 amp hours. Uh, it's a good habit to stop there. You can run the battery deeper than that, but it's a good habit to stop there if you can. The top left corner is your voltage. This particular Revolution has a 74 volt battery system, so it's gonna charge at 84.0 volts, and it's gonna, the low voltage cutoff is gonna be, the 60 volts is the absolute lowest at three volts per cell, because it's a 20 cell battery system, but realistically, we set it a little higher, so it starts uh, taking down the power before that, probably around 63, 62 volts, somewhere around there. So, this is a quick glance gauge. The very top left of your cycle analyst it has a battery gauge, and you can quickly see how much remaining life you have. In this case, you know we might be around 80% left or 75%, somewhere around there. When you're going along, uh, bottom left corner is your your watts, so it's going to tell you how much wattage you're using uh, under acceleration. So this is the main screen you're going to be using most of the time. The other displays, it's kind of for fun. You can go and see your efficiency, your watt hours and your watt hours per mile. That shows you how efficient you've been with your power usage. A rule of thumb, not for the Revolution, but for most normal bikes that are a little bit lighter weight is 20 watt, watt hours per mile. So, you know, if you have a 640 watt hour battery system, you, know, you multiply your volts times your amp hours to get your watt hours, because that's the total stored energy in your battery then you'll, you'll have about 32 mile range. So that's a rule of thumb, you divide by 20 by the watt hours of the battery system. So 640 watt hours equates roughly to 32 miles. Best case scenario range on flat ground, 20 miles per hour, constant speed, no pedaling, 170 pound rider. This would show some regen. If you have regen, the mid drives have a free will mechanism so they don't offer regen. Regen really is only an option with our hub motor systems. This screen shows your maximum current and your minimum current and your minimum voltage. Max speed, average speed, how long you've been using it. This is total cycles and total amp hours used and total miles. And But this is the main screen. When I, when I ride, basically I just keep it here and then if I wanna, for fun, check my efficiency then I can scroll through that. But that's, that's what I use standard. Any bike from HPC you get is gonna go 20 miles per hour maximum and uh, 750 watts or less it's gonna be programmed to to be considered a non-motorized vehicle. So it'll be in the state of California is considered a bicycle. So you can ride it on, you know, where you can ride normal bicycles. In the case that you have a large private ranch. We sell a lot of revolutions in the Texas area with big private ranches that it, they can go around and explore. Or in the case that you want to off-road at an OHV park, you know, around here in California, we have a ton of OHV trails and parks where you can ride dirt bikes and ATVs. In those two areas, feel free to unlock your computer so you can have full power in those circumstances and you can go as fast as you want and use all the power that uh, we engineered into these bikes. So in order to unlock your battery systems, this is what you do. Press and hold the left button for two seconds and you're gonna get basic setup. Press and hold the right button for two seconds and it's gonna give you units. Miles, that's okay. So tap, tap the right button once, get to the next one. Set wheel, that's the, the wheel size. We preset that for all our bikes, so that's set up. Number of poles on a mid-drive setup, we set it to one. On the hub motor setups, it should be set to 23 poles. Speed limit right now is 20 miles per hour. Now, if we wanna adjust that, this particular model is a Revolution 3.0 M Pro, 3000 watts. So this one can do about 45 miles an hour. So what we wanna do, if you wanna go on private property, press and hold the right button for two seconds, get the first digit flashing, 
go up to four, might as well go up to five because it's not gonna, this at least won't uh, limit the speed because right now we had it at 20 and it'll limit the speed to 20 miles an hour even though it's capable of 45 miles per hour unlocked. So if we do 50, it's not gonna limit anything. So we'll just do that. Press and hold, go to the next digit. Press and hold, go to the next digit. Now we are at our amps limit. This is at 10 amps, it has a 74 volt battery system, so that's 740 watts of power output standard. If we want to get the full power output out of our system, what we want to do is move, set this up to around, around 40 amps or so. So I think on this particular one, it's going to be limited to 38. So let's just go to 38 amps. So press and hold the right button, tap it to three, press and hold, go to the next digit. Let's go to 38 and then press and hold. And then you're done. Those are the only two things you want to change, the speed and the amps. Everything else, now the bike is completely unlocked. So you just keep tapping until it says leaving setup and now you're done and now your bike's unlocked. Those are the main features of the cycle analyst and how to use the cycle analyst. Uh, for more information, we're gonna provide you with a full instruction booklet. I would say don't get into the advanced setup because you can really mess things up with the bike and cause it not to work properly. So stay in the basic setup and just make sure you know all the parameters are correct. It should be correct from the factory um, with your battery and your battery size and the voltage and all that. That's how you use your cycle analyst.